Emergency communications is the ability of first responders, emergency managers, uh, 911 centers, uh, really anybody involved in emergency response and coordination, communicating, really. Uh, it's about sharing voice and data uh, in real time uh, and, and communicating. Um, it's coordinating a response to an emergency, a disaster, an incident, even a cyber attack, um, and being able to coordinate that response. Emergency communications is the capability for all public safety first responders to be able to communicate on a day-to-day -day basis, as well as during disasters, emergencies, planned events. Do you usually think of the 911? You think of from, from that dispatcher, you're going to a trooper or, or to a fire station, or whomever it's gonna go to, but it expands even more than that. So you're getting into your hospitals, you're getting into your emergency management, you're getting into um, all sorts of different dynamics that, that come in. And then take it one step further, you're also going into um, out, outward. So you're going, I wanna put a notification out, an alert or a warning out to um, the public. But we also have non-traditional uh, emergency responders that are critical to emergency communications, and that's transportation, hospitals, um, amateur radio operators, you know, folks in public works. Those are all equally important during a time of disaster to be able to communicate with each other. Emergency communications encompasses anything to do with different agencies and people talking with each other whether that be radio or telephone or computer or smoke signals or anything that allow different agencies and people to talk with each other. Emergency communications to me is anything that has to do with life safety. Um, that's all the way from the call taker, if you call 911, to the first responders who respond on scene. Uh, it's all that communication in between. If you think about emergency communications, it's everything from the citizen to government, government to government, and government to the citizen. It's that entire ecosystem, which really is emergency communications. When we speak of emergency communications, we're actually talking about the public. The emergency responders are responding to the public's needs for help to protect life and property. And so anything that is needed in emergency communications will benefit the public. And we have to make sure that the public understands uh, that their tax dollars are being used for important and sometimes expensive technologies that really keep their loved ones safe and also those important first responders safe. Emergency communications is so important to the public and to our citizens it's because it involves all of the public safety agencies and the first responders and life safety. It's what saves them when they call 911. It's from 911 to law enforcement, to EMS, to fire. So I think it is very important to have that communications and the interoperability that makes that happen.